hope that you are feeling awesome. All right, guys, I just got to shut this door because Yvonne is still asleep upstairs. All right, last week I ended the vlog on a really, really, really ill point, I suppose you might as well say. So, Yvonne, you know, you were a star. You know, you were there for me. And, um, you got to be honest, I was feeling so bad. So, this morning, guys, I thought, you know what? I've got to do myself a COVID test. Look at that there. So, that means, guys, I haven't got COVID. Yes! <laughs> and we have now finally got Yvonne here out of bed. We had this one do a um, test. There we go. That is hers. So guys, I'm um, being honest, me and Yvonne were like, yes, we don't have COVID, but we ain't got a clue what we've got. And uh, let's just say today we're going to go out and get some medicines and get ourselves all topped up, so to speak. Alrighty guys, me and Yvonne are doing a VIX thing. I don't know guys if you're new to this, but you pretty much put your head over and you inhale for about 10 minutes. So this is what I'm gonna be doing now and Yvonne's story will be pretty soon. Wow guys, I can honestly say my eyes are stinging. Wow, that was intense. All right, now is Yvonne's turn, so are you going to get yourself ready? Certainly, I'm, yes. Come on, let's get you on your knees. Yeah. Ready? Thank you. Ready? There you go, that's your turn. You look a little merry. <laughs> All righty guys, that's me and Yvonne nicely cooked. And I must admit, I don't know if you guys actually do that when you got a cold or anything, but it's really, really helpful. It really does get the nose very much clearer. How do you feel now? Uh, better than I did. Better than you did? Yeah. Wow, guys, this area has definitely uh, grown since the last time we were here. Now look at the height of this lot here. Crikey. It's like it's got its own little border here as well. It's like a little sort of border going on around there but anyway guys i am feeling so positive and very 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 nervous because i am now out and i'm gonna get the drone and we're gonna go up and have a nice look at the local area and i'm not interested in going up too high or anything today i'm just you know getting used to the drone getting used to the controls and such so yeah should be a bit of fun eh well, anyways let's get up in the sky eh Well guys, I am literally now done in this location. I've just packed up all my stuff and I'm about to head back to home. But I will say this area is not bad to get to. It's a bit of a walk up the hill, I must admit, get a sweat on, but it's worth it because you get to be here. Look at that cloud there, guys. Now, apparently, guys, we're supposed to be getting some thunder and lightning today. So I rushed home. I've got the uh, camera and everything ready to rock and roll. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to capture at least something. And if I don't, then uh, see what the time lapse looks like. <laughs> but anyways, I'm home now. I've had a good shift. I've just spent a bit of time with Yvonne because uh, she's at work now. And uh, 
I'm about to do that time lapse and chill basically for the rest of the day. And then it's going to be that time to go pick up Yvonne from work. And just like that guys, so many hours have passed and I must admit, I have been so preoccupied with doing that time lapse video guys, that I decided to go around my house. But anyways, it's that time now to go pick up Yvonne from work. <laughs> Well guys, I'll try to do something different there and show you the sky on the journey from home to Tesco's. Hello! Have a good shift? Oh, I've been busy, yeah. Is it busy enough for you? Yeah. Awesome. Guys, we have got loads of bees in this bush here. And I'm trying to see if I can get one on camera. But they all seem to be like right within like where the leaves are and everything. I must admit, I am feeling in a really, really positive mood today. I got up, I got on with stuff around the house. Me and Yvonne are about to go out and do the weekly shop. When we get back, I want to pop out and get out on that drone again. Because apparently the weather is going to be absolutely awesome. And then later on after that, guys, I'm going to be going to a viewer's house. Yes, I'm going to be seeing you, Stacey. And I'm going to be picking up a picture that you you have made for me and Yvonne and I can't wait to see it in person. Well guys we've now finished in Tesco's and now we're in town and I must admit me and Yvonne just spotted something and we're literally going what is the purpose of building this or at least putting this here? I mean like there is no purpose of this at all because it's not going to stop anything getting into this area. Oh hello Yvonne. Hello. Wow crikey guys this is uh grown a bit since the last time we were here. See, many years ago, there used to be a wooden uh, sort of bridge, footpath type thing that used to go all the way from over there, guys. It used to lead you all the way through this and go up uh, over to there. And you used to be able to like walk on it and look down in between the uh, pieces of wood at the uh, brook going underneath you. It's absolutely awesome. Hmm. I'm not too sure guys what this weather is all about but I checked the app and apparently it's okay to fly the drone. We are now here and it sounds like we have a train. Ha! <laughs> now what a time it was that. Okay, well this is definitely different. Being honest guys, the last time we came here, this field just literally had dirt in it. Now, I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get to the location I want to get to today, guys. Now where I am heading towards is not that far from the Heritage Trail, but I'm literally gonna be next to the Ryzen Brook. Wow, guys, I am having so much fun, honestly. I've gone through one battery, and also I think I'm probably halfway through the next battery. I've been flying all the way around this field, and I must admit, it's been quite scary at some points because it's got a little bit of wind there's been a few birds flying nearby and I thought you know what? I'm gonna stay away from them but yeah I am enjoying myself up to now and I've uh, got to admit I'm uh, gonna have a little bit of a break and then I'm gonna send the drone back up there and see what else I can capture I just had a bit of an issue here guys I was literally about to send the drone up again to you know do a bit more recording and take some more pictures but um, it looks like people do actually use that section there because I thought, well, it doesn't go anywhere. Then I realised it does actually go to a bridge. It's further on at the top there. So, yeah, I'm going to be finding somewhere else to fly the drone next. Unfortunately, the last flight that I wanted to do, I couldn't get done because uh, time was not on my side. I've literally spent a good hour flying and I was like, wow, crikey, where's that hour gone?
Well, guys, whilst I was having a bit of a break here, I was looking around and I thought, do you know what? This is absolutely a fantastic spot for a traffic video. If I was to position myself here, facing this direction, right, I should be out of the way. Guys, I've never walked up this area of the uh, Perry Tree Estate. And I've got to admit, it's kind of bringing back sort of visions of Bristol for me. We are now here at Stacey and Matt's place. And this is the picture that she has made for both me and Yvonne. And look at that. That's absolutely amazing. And the best thing is, is like little, little like diamonds there. I don't know if you can see that, guys. But it's absolutely fantastic. It's given me a few ideas of what I could do, you know, creative wise for myself. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this home and uh, hopefully showing Yvonne pretty soon. Who is this? Who's that? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's how you shut a baby up. That was so awesome, guys. I was literally walking down, I could hear it. What the heck is that? So I thought, whoa, it was a bee. So obviously I wanted to share it with you. But anyways, I'm now on my way home. But I will but say we'll one, say thing. one thing. thing. This area's this got area's a cracking view. Just look at that, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, and we've got a uh, helicopter up in the sky. Don't know where that helicopter's off to. Oh, birdies. Do you know, I have lost count how many helicopters and planes that I've seen since uh, COVID's died down. Oh, crikey. Now, this land that we're looking at here, the uh, person that owns it, they literally got rid of all of the garages that were there and they replaced it with a house. But also, guys, what is behind all this is a little walk path here. And uh, I'm wondering, are they going to put some fencing up around this property or something? And the thing is, guys, I haven't been here for a while, so it just proves that things happen when you don't go to places, and uh, when you do go back to them, you know, things change. Oh, this is a beautiful homecoming. We've got a Dini Doos here, and we have a Techie Doos here. Now, more to the question is, where is my Yvonne? There she is! <laughs> but unfortunately, guys, this is where we're going to have to love and leave you. So we hugely want to say a huge thank you for coming by. It means the world to both of us. It really does. And like I said to a video that I put up on my page, every single like and follow means the world. It really does. But as I said, unfortunately, it's where we're going to have to love you, leave you. So again, we both want to say a huge thank you for coming by. It means the world to us. And always, guys, do your best to stay positive and screw all those negatives. Oh, yeah, baby. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.